Welcome back, everyone. Leslie Cater, our travel lady, is here this morning. We're chatting about a small ship cruise. And this is one that you've actually gone on yourself, Leslie, and you were just telling me about it. You loved it. I, I loved it. it. It's so romantic. It's a cruise ship with sails. So you've got that beautiful feeling of sitting outside at night, having a cocktail on the deck by candlelight. You've got the sails above you. It, it's so romantic. Oh, sounds too good to be true, <laughs> but it is true. You were there. And so because you were there, you were just saying that uh, you can actually offer a special uh, rate because yeah. you had booked it. That's right. I love this cruise so much that I've actually booked it for myself and my family in September. And because I was booking it like that, they gave me a special rate. And I thought, hey, why not share the love? It's awesome. <laughs> Okay, yeah. that's great. So um, the cruise now, because it's a smaller one, mm -hmm. first of all, what, what's missing from it? What w wouldn't you expect on a cruise like this? Well, certainly on this cruise, you're not going to get uh, zip lines or climbing walls or ice rinks or any of that. This is cruising in a very intimate manner. You've got uh, different restaurants to choose from. You've got beautiful ocean view um, staterooms oh, here. Wow. <laughs> As you can see, you've got the portholes because Gorgeous. remember, this is a yacht but uh, state of the art with everything that you would need. There's a spa on board, great restaurant dining. So it's not like you're roughing it and, and crewing no. on some six man yacht around the Adriatic Sea. Yeah, it doesn't look too tough no. to dine in that room. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Now this, I don't know if this is a misconception and I actually had this concern. I went on a smaller cruise. Mm -hmm. are, they, are they more kind of unsteady, not as stable than the larger ones, did you feel? Uh, well, that's, uh, you're quite correct. People will look at that and say, oh, you know, because it's a sailing yacht, is it going to be tipping this way and that? But that's not the case. It's got um, a very deep draft and it uh, has ballast and it also has stabilizers. And in fact, it was one of the most stable cruises that I've been on. So that was something else in favor of it as well. Okay, that's fantastic. Yeah, you don't like it when the scenes of the t Titanic go through your mind when <laughs> no. you're on a boat. So, okay, well, let's take a look at some details on this trip and the price. So what do we have here? Yeah, 27th of September, Rome to Venice. So we've got Ocean View State Room. All meals, all taxes, $31.99 per person. Um, the regular price on this is about 36 40 or, or something like that. So, uh, in fact, a bit more. So it's about a $640 per person saving. And if you wanted to upgrade your cabin to a little bit of a better one, the saving would be obviously even bigger. What's great about this particular itinerary is because we go along uh, from Rome down through Sicily and then up the Adriatic. So we're stopping in at those ports like um, Dubrovnik that are really, really special. And then ending in Venice. Oh. I did this. I've been to Venice. Oh, it's gorgeous. You have to go. Yeah. yeah. Ending off, okay. I was there in September last year on a much bigger ship. Entering into Venice itself was just amazing. So worth it. So, so worth it. On is a small a ship, definitely. Great trip. Gorgeous. Thanks so much, Leslie, for bringing this to us. Tra Thanks the so. Travel Lady at 403-277-6884 or visit her website, thetravellady.ca. Great find. Thanks, Leslie. Thank you.